Angela Costala says she walked into this pharmacy to fill her prescription following her miscarriage, but an employee inside refused to fill it. Now she's sharing her story to raise awareness in hopes nobody else goes through the same situation. CVS really robbed me of my ability to mourn our pregnancy loss with all of this. Angela Costales suffered a painful miscarriage in December of last year. She says that around her eight-week appointment, doctors couldn't find a fetal heartbeat or movement, a difficult situation this couple went through. We um, decided together with the doctor that I would get what's commonly known as the abortion pill. Angela and her husband drove to the CVS on Claremont Drive to pick up misoprostol, but she says the pharmacist refused to fill her medication. She looked me square in the face and she told me, it doesn't matter if I have it, I'm not comfortable dispensing it to you. And that was the first moment that I realized that what was happening was um, scary and wrong. <laughs> Angela says after the interaction with the pharmacy employee, she left with her husband to the CVS on Balboa Avenue, where she was able to get misoprostol. But this pharmacist, because of her extreme views, because of the stigma that she holds around medication that is also associated with abortion care, denied Angie her legal right to get that medication. A spokesperson for CVS Pharmacy tells us in part, we have policies in place to ensure no patient is ever denied access to medication prescribed by a physician based on a pharmacist's individual religious or moral beliefs. We have their full statement at cbs8.com. To their chief counsel. Angela reached out to the National Women's Law Center for help. Earlier this month, the group sent the president and chief executive officer of CVS Pharmacy a letter. We have told CVS that, you know, they are on notice. They need to make things right. And importantly, they need to make sure that this never happens again. Angela hopes that by sharing her story, something is done to prevent other women from going through the same thing. My really most sincere hope is that CBS creates an environment that allows women to get the help that they need. Esmeralda Perez, CBS 8.